Hello, Lake Placid High School. Today is October 30th, 2018. I'm Kiara Peterson, and this is DNN. SGA meeting on November 2nd at 7.45 a.m. in the library. Grab a friend and join us. SGA will be hosting Holiday Secret Pals again. Faculty, there will, be there will be letters in your mailbox and SGA members can pick up paperwork in the SGA room. Don't miss out. AVID will be hosting a dodgeball tournament on Friday, November 16th, and we need teams to sign up to compete. The first 10 teams to register get to participate. Teams made up of five people with up to two alternatives. For a total of seven members, there will be prizes for the top winner and the best dressed team. So get creative. See Mr. Ramirez or Ms. Henderson to register your team and get in on the fun. Hey, Will, I've seen students carrying around orange boxes. Tell us what they are for. Key Club members are carrying around small orange boxes to collect money for UNICEF. Money collected goes to eliminate maternal and neonatal tetanus. Maternal and neonatal tetanus kills tens of thousands of babies every year. Even though there is a vaccine to prevent it, the vaccine costs less than $2. Will, would you give $10, $2 to save a life? The boys and girls cross-country teams are hosting their 8th annual Greek Dragon 5K run slash walk on Saturday, November 3rd at 8 a.m. for a fundraiser and community fun run. Please come out and support our teams as a sponsor and or participant. Forms are available on the school's webpage. November 7th, we will have our red, white, and blue day for our faculty and staff, and we want students to participate as well. We decided the best way for students to support this activity is to dress patriotically. Students' dress can range from wearing red, white, and blue, or any other appropriate attire that shows patriotism, in the comments during A and B lunch. Ms. Frapp and Mr. Tuning will judge the three best outfits, who will each will win Dunkin' Donuts gift cards. The judging for a lunch will be at 11.45, and the contest for B lunch will be held at 12.35. And the announcement for the competition will come on the intercom for students wanting to participate. Come to the front of the commons near the stage. All students are encouraged to dress up and show their support to those who protect our freedom. Let's head over to Mr. Harris for vocab word of the day and then Kiara for a couple more announcements. Are you ready for word of the day? Run in November for governor. Well, and we got Mr. Harris here with word of the day, and our word today is. Genre, which according to Webster's is a category of artistic, musical, literary composition characterized by a particular style, form, or content. And in literature, what that might mean is that uh, uh, a, a uh, science fiction story has very different characteristics than that of a romantic story or that of a horror story, think like Edgar Allan Poe. Each one has very unique traits and they're very easy to distinguish most of the time. So there's our word of the day. Our word of the day again is genre, a specific style of writing or music. And don't forget to have a great day if you want to. I did it. Give me the Oscar. Yay! Good afternoon, everyone. This is This Date in History. Today's October 30th, and on this date in 8, 1938, we saw the broadcast of H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds. And on th that date, everyone freaked out, thinking that we were actually under a real Martian in uh, invasion. So, happy Halloween, everybody. Go out and be amazing every day. Lunchtime Games was today, and I hope everyone had fun playing their little hearts out. Let's roll on over to Will T. Taylor for more announcements than Mikey for weather. Mikey Gret Weather. This is Michael Gret here with your afternoon weather. 
as you see here, there's no rain at all. Absolutely none. <laughs> and for after school forecast, it's going to be a high of 85, going down to 81, whenever, about 6 p.m. And now for our five day forecast, um, we have highs of 86, going down to 77 on Saturday. And for the lows at night, about 66 uh, for the high, well, higher than on Friday will be 73. And now for my fact, I'll be talking about bismuth. Bismuth is a very interesting metal. It's, it's used in uh, Pepto-Bismol. It melts at 521 degrees. And uh, it forms these really nice crystals. And I actually have some right here. And I'm not... And uh, I need a lot more to make these. So, yeah. And now for tropical weather statement. We have a hurricane. But it's not going to do anything. It's going to sit on the Atlantic, strengthen for a little bit. And then head up north and do nothing. Back in the studio. Yankee Candle Packets are due Friday, November 2nd. We expect all SGA members to sell. We are giving prizes for those who participate. Turkey Scavenger Hunt is a great community service opportunity for everyone. It will be held on Wednesday, November 14th. Grab the paperwork in the front office or SGA room. Trophies will be given to the top team. Miracle League is still going on. Meet at 8.30 on Saturday morning at Lake June Ball Field to help out our LPH LPHS students play a great game of baseball. Earn community service hours with this too. Jeans for Troops will be held on Wednesday, November 7th. We hope teachers will donate to wear jeans and students will dress in red, white, and blue. We have a pep rally next Friday, November 2nd, to recognize our fall sports and get everyone pumped up for the home football game versus Avon Park. Be there. We are one dragon. Hey, Kiara, I want to win some money for my team. How can I do that? Well, Will. The Lake Placid Athletic Association is now preparing for our fourth annual Bench Warmers Ball Dinner and Dance. It will be held on Saturday, January 19, 2019. This event allows us to raise money to help support Lake Placid Athletics. The dinner allows you to win a little extra money for your sport. The contest begins now and runs through the night of the dinner slash dance on January. The tickets are $50 per person. Guests who buy a ticket have a choice of prime rib or stuffed chicken breast for dinner and the Shannon Reed Band will be performing that evening. How can your team be involved in running prize money? If your team sells 10 tickets, your team will receive $100. If you can get a raffle or auction item donated for the evening, your team will receive $50. The team that sells the most tickets will receive $500. The team that sells the second highest number of tickets will receive $250. If your team decorates a table to showcase your sport, you will win $50. Teams can win prize money in more than one category. Please contact Laura Till at 863-441-0729 or Kristen Reifensnyder 954-675-959. The tickets are available now, so start selling. Good luck. Let's head to Ashley for sports, then to Asia for quote of the day. Hello Green Dragons, this week our swim team will be having districts. They will begin swimming tomorrow morning. Our varsity football team will be having their last game of the season this Friday at 7 p.m. against the Avon Park Red Devils. Our cross country team will be heading to the re two regionals at Holloway Park in Lakeland, Florida. The race will begin at 8 a.m. this Friday, November 2nd. Our cross country team will also be hosting the Green Dragon 5K. The race will begin at 8 a.m. Tonight, our Girls volleyball team will be playing in the regional semifinals at 7 p.m. Come to support our ladies as they make history. Let's make our way to Asia for the quote of the day. What is up, Lake Placid Dragons? Behind every great man is a woman rolling her eyes. Jim Carrey. Thanks for watching DNN and peace out.